everyone, I'm Becca, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to animate subtitles in iMovie. So I've edited my video here in iMovie, as you can see in the timeline, and now I want to add animated subtitles to it. Now, the problem is you can't technically add subtitles in iMovie. It is still possible, but it is just very time consuming and you don't have much creative control. But we can still create them. We just have to do it manually, word by word, using text titles, which if you have a seven minute video like I do, will take a really long time. So later in this video, I'll be showing you an easier and quicker solution. But for now, we can click on the title tab at the top and here you can find different text templates available. One that works really well for subtitles is slide lower third which has an animation of sliding each letter up as it appears. So let's drag this on top of our video in the timeline. Now let's place our playhead at the beginning so we can listen to the first sentence being said. We are in the year 1209. To type out the subtitles, select the text box, delete the words, and write out what is being said in the video. If you need to adjust the length of time that the subtitles are on screen for, click and drag the ends of it in the timeline. Above the video canvas, you can customize the subtitles. You can change the font, size, and color. I also don't like how these subtitles are to the side of the video, so we can click the middle alignment, and now you can see that they have repositioned to the center of the video. Unfortunately, iMovie title templates are limited to where they can be placed, and you'll notice you cannot move them somewhere else on the video canvas. To continue the subtitling process, you can copy and paste the original subtitle by holding down the option button, and then placing the new subtitle next to the old one. Then you can delete the old text and type out the new subtitle sentence. Repeat this step for the rest of the video. Now, if you play back the video, you can see the subtitle animations working. Unfortunately, on iMovie you are limited to the customization of the subtitles and you may even notice that the animation doesn't always line up with the timings of what is being said in the video. So now I'm going to show you how to animate subtitles in a quicker and more reliable way by using Veed, the online video editor. So let's get rid of these subtitles by highlighting them with the mouse and pressing the delete button on the keyboard. Export the video from iMovie by clicking the share button in the top right corner and then selecting export file. Check the export settings and press next. Choose where you want to save your video and press save. Now head to Veed.new and upload the video file you've just created. Created. Head over to the subtitles tab on the left and click auto subtitles. Select the language that is being spoken in the video and then click create subtitles. And now Veed's AI automatic subtitle generator will do all the work for us. So that took just a few seconds compared to iMovie, which took over an hour. Now you may see some orange words highlighted in the subtitles window. These are words that Veed is a bit unsure of, so double check those before moving on. If you do need to edit any words, simply select the word, delete it, and type out the correct word or spelling. Also, if you hover your mouse in between two subtitles, you have the option to add a new subtitle line or merge two together. You may also notice timestamps next to each sentence. So unlike iMovie, Veed has already worked out where to place the subtitles in accordance to what is being said in the video. So no need to adjust them yourself, although you can do this by clicking and dragging the ends in the timeline. Click the style tab and this is where you have the option to save time by selecting one of the 14 templates offered by Veed. This will automatically apply a font and animation to your subtitles. However, you can fully customize the subtitles by scrolling down and manually changing the font, size and color and you can even change the line height and letter spacing. To add an animation, click the animation button and here you will find a choice of 10 different animations available. If you hover your mouse over each one, you'll be able to preview how they will animate your captions. Play around with each one and see what works best for you. Returning to the subtitles tab and clicking on the effects button will allow us to further customize the animated subtitles by adding an effect behind the words. One effect I often use is drop shadow as this makes the words more prominent. Again, play around with each one to see what will work for you. After you have finalized the animation and appearance of the subtitles, you can move them anywhere on the video canvas by clicking and dragging the subtitles box. This is something you cannot do on iMovie and is a great feature to have. And now when you play back your video, your customized animated subtitles will be visible and working. Once you have completed your animated subtitles, click the export button in the top right corner. Choose your preferred render settings and make sure that the burn subtitles button is toggled. This makes sure that the animated subtitles are embedded into your video. Hit export again and wait for V to render your video. And that's how to add animated subtitles in iMovie and Veed. If you have any questions about either software, don't hesitate to put a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time.